okay we're here and we're on youtube today i just got dressed for tiktok i look so freaking cute my outfit is simple you can't even see it my outfit's really simple today but i think the colors really are just speaking to me we're about to go to the mall and you guys are always asking me to take you with me to the mall just so you can hear and see my thought process of shopping I'm not really shopping today, but I'll go into a couple of stores and tell you what I would pair with what or kind of just try to give you some inspo. I don't know how this is going to work out, but we're just going to, you're going to go to the mall with me, basically. I don't know what's happening. Okay, so Gucci on the shades today. They're my mama's, they're not mine. Don't play. <laughs> um, Someone had ordered some pants off of my Depop, so I have to actually pack that. We're going to do that real quick and then we're going to leave. Oh my god, don't look. <laughs> I literally moved my nightstand. I don't know where to put it. Like, it used to be on the side of my bed, but I actually hung my mirror on the wall now, so it doesn't fit on the side of my bed anymore. So it's just, it's like, awkwardly there. Don't look. Don't look, okay? These are the pants that we are shipping off. I'm going to do it when I get back. I just need to put them out so I don't forget. Um, Let's go. Um, so basically, my mom is going to Mexico for a vacation this month, and since she's like busy working, I it's my job to go out and get the stuff that she needs for her vacation. So we're going to the mall, and we're just getting her some shoes, and if I find her any outfits, I'll get her some of those as well, but I'm not shopping for me today. My, um, my birthday is coming up, um, July 18th, it'll be 22, and... I'm really just trying to figure out what I want to do for my birthday. Like, I don't ever do anything for my birthday. I do want to do, like, a photo shoot. I've never done that before. That's different, but I feel like it's just high and fine time I get into the photo shoot culture, you know? Obviously, I would want it before my birthday, so it would be in, like, the next couple weeks if I do decide to do that. And that's really all I've been doing. Like, trying to figure out what exactly am I going to do, the concept and stuff like that. Um... I don't know. I feel like it's too late to plan any like trips or anything for my birthday, but I would love to do that. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I don't want you stressing over it. I'm not stressing over it. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's literally okay. Okay, so I'm currently at the mall and I would yell, but I just don't have it in me to yell right now. So I'm just going to have you really close to my phone or what? I'm going to just have you really close to me so you can hear what I'm saying, but I made it at the mall. My first step is candy store because I need candy. So we're about to go into Urban Outfitters. I'm gonna look around a little bit and then show you what I find. Okay, so this bag was really cute to me. It was uh, kind of giving me tote bag vibes, the Marc Jacob ones, but it did have a two-tone, which I appreciated and I love so much. Then I've been looking at these skirts forever, but I haven't found the perfect one for me, but that was really cute as well. I am in Urban Outfitters just looking around. I didn't get anything. That bag was really cute. I just went in there for candy. I don't usually shop in there though. Sorry if you hear Bailey panting in the back per usual. Oh, hey. Anyways, I didn't know how I wanted to start this video off. So this part, I wasn't really talking or anything. This was really cute to me. It was wide around it to keep some shape and that was key. I think that's all I found in here, honestly. Okay, so I just spent $20 on some candy. I would be lying if I said I was lying. <laughs> Um, every time I come to the mall, the first store I have to go in is Nordstrom. I did go on to Urban Outfitters just because of candy, but I'm usually going here first. So, let's go see what we can find. Everything here is like $300, which is not the average affordable price. So, when I'm in here, I literally just go to the third floor. I was heading to said third floor and they have skims up here. Skims. They never have anything in my size, but I just like to look, you know, for the material. People talk about it on TikTok, so I just like to see. Search around. Um, skims are always a great basic clothing piece to go with, just because it is so versatile and it goes with so much. 
make sure if you do get skims though you get the skims that complements your body because some of it will make you look boxy and not look good i have the shirt and i love the shirt i have this tank as well and i absolutely love it 10 out of 10 recommend maybe a different color other than black because every time i wear it, it gives me like kim possible vibes but i love this we are in hmm of course had to stop by here and see if i can find anything this is an instant cop this is so cute it would look amazing with some olive green pants and some blue and white shoes. Let's see what else I can find in here for you. I don't know what type of video this is supposed to be. Um, sorry if I'm doing this video wrong. So, this is the men's section. Every time I go to the mall, this is the only section I go in. The men's of H&M because they just have everything. Everything you need. These are terry cloth and they're so cute. But yeah, always check the, the sales section of H&M's men's section because they just have the cutest stuff to me all the time. Okay, these are $22. They're large and I would definitely get these 100%. They have the little adjustable thing at the bottom, which we appreciate. The pockets do zip up and down, and it also has the adjustable thing. Screenshot this or whatever, and get these. I don't know what you could screenshot, but this is a cop for sure. They're 15 right now. That's actually really good. They're large. They're corduroy straight leg, which I appreciate and I love. And they have a jawstring. This is another pair of pants I would actually get if I was more into black. Okay. Oh. They're linen, and I think they would go really good with button downs. Or what are those shirts that have like the knit holes in them? I wore one yesterday. I don't know the name of it, but that would be like a really good vacation. It's hot outside, and I just want to be cool outfit. I'm not gonna lie. If I find my favorite pair of pants in here, I'm gonna buy another one. I don't see it though. Okay, I'm gonna walk around the actual store. Just because I know the sales section is hard to find online, it's just so packed in here. But if you do, stay away from these pants that like have this shape because as a lady, it's going to make your legs look really weird that it has that like oval shape if that makes sense don't ever get those since we're shopping for my mom i did come over to the women's section let's see if we find anything that catches my eye okay these screenshot that and get these um i love how these fit me these are the ones i was looking at and these are really cute Instantly with this I would do blue. I don't know why, but blue is calling and speaking to me right now. Here's a little thingy. And yeah, these are way cuter than those just because the material is like a I think nylon, maybe. I could be wrong. And then has a drawstring, which is kind of like thinner. Thinner as in not as thick. And they are adjustable at the bottom cute let's see what else i can see mm, no suddenly i just want to shop for myself this is so bad Honestly and truthfully, I have a love-hate relationship with these maxi cargo skirts and the length is also really awkward. Maybe if it went all the way down, this, these are a no for me. If you're interested, they're $30. At, hmm. Bro, I could live in here. They just need to hire me. 
hiring me as like the PR person because I'm just bringing in the sales right now. Okay, so when it comes to tank tops and stuff like that, I always consider before purchasing tank tops is if I can wear a bra with it or not. This is really cute, but I wouldn't get it just because I couldn't wear a bra with it. Like just regular since it's kind of like razorback. So I always take that into consideration before you buy something. Um, I would get this if it was a different color, but this like satin moment is catching me off guard. Okay, so we're in the women's, the women's pants, sale pants, of course. Everything in H&M is overpriced, so you always have to go to the sale section. I love H&M without my hair, but I wouldn't let you. Oh, these are cute. I'm actually looking for some pants like this right now for myself, but these are 18 and they will not fit me. This lady next to me probably is like, okay, she's talking to herself. I sure am. No. Okay, here's another good one. The color is not what it looks on camera, but I would, any pant that is straight leg, I would automatically get. Just off the fact that it's straight leg. I appreciate these pockets because most women pants don't have these thick pockets. And we've got the perfect gift for dad. From sporty to business casual, an H and M gift card fits every dad's style. Pick one of these are my size. Don't play. Oh yeah, we're gonna try those on. Oh, girl, I thought these were my favorite pants. These are okay. They're like the women version of the, my favorite pants because they don't have the drawstring and they're a little less baggy. These are okay. It's my size too, so I'm gonna try that on. So any of the shirts that are like that, multiple, that many in the sales section, they're obviously just not good shirts in my opinion. Nobody wants them on sale or not on sale. That's how I look at it. Uh, the, the quality must be cheap and it must not be that comfortable. Um, it kind of feels like a Shein shirt, honestly. So anything with too much of it is probably something you should stay away from. Or that's kind of what I apply when I'm shopping. If the things get like copyrighted, I'm gonna be so pissed. Also, um, overalls are in this summer, so cop you a pair before they go up on the price like crazy. These things right here, these like tiered, I think that's how you say it, tiered dresses or skirts. They are so cute to me. I haven't found the perfect white one that I want, but I'm gonna get one of these as soon as I can. I think that, you know, I'm in my like showing my belly era with the tiny top, and I think this would be like the perfect flowy skirt with a really cute tiny top. So yeah, this is a cop, just not this one. This one's kind of funny looking. If they had the white in this black design, I would definitely get it right now. You see the materials are different and this one has like openings and the the bands are also different which plays a huge part because it's gonna sit on your waist which means it needs to complement your waist this this type will not coming from a seller i feel like i'm in like fashion school right now i'm gonna go back to the men's section to go to the dressing room and try these items on i'm gonna show you <gasps> I've been looking for this shirt in white. I've seen it at the mall by my house, but they never have it out. They just have it on the mannequin. I literally love this shirt so much. I have to find this shirt or else I will strip this mannequin right now. They're large, they're okay. They're just like, sorry, them things keep turning off, I don't know. I think if the leg at the bottom was a little wider, maybe. They just fit kind of awkward to me. I think it's this. But if I even like tie it a little higher. No. Okay, so these are size four. This is my actual pant size. And these are a bad freaking no. I have loved high-waisted pants in high school. And I would not be caught wearing them. Those don't count because they're kind of low. Kind of low. But this is what the four looks like. They're really cute if you 
don't want to go for that more baggy look like I usually do. Um, I like how it has this thing at the back. And then the actual like pant look in the front. And that they're straight leg. But they're just too tight for me. Uh, usually when I get pants in my size, I can wear them once or twice and then they're done and too tight. So. Hello? Okay, the thing is off. I'm gonna give you the little tag thingy if you're interested. I think you can search that up and find them. But they're $9. Mm. No. Okay, so these are also my size, size four. And another reason why I don't get pants in my size is because of the waist not wasting. Um, I honestly prefer my pants to just sag under my stomach than to deal with this. Uh, so these are enough for me. I did try shopping in the women's section today. Just They didn't work out. I'm looking for a jewelry like this though. Maybe a little darker. But I'm looking for a pant like this. So we're going to look and see if we find one. These are all nose. I just popped the buddy to you on the mirror and uh, these pants right here, I'm going to get them for my mom for her vacation and I'm going to find her some white shoes with it and maybe like a white top. Um, if I can't find her any white shoes, she's going to end up doing some sandals, some brown sandals with that and a cream brown linen top because this is terry cloth. So yeah, I just love dressing her. She literally just lets me do whatever half the time. She is picky, but she lets me do whatever half the time too. So I'm about to get these pants for my mom, and then we're headed to Zara and more on the shopping inspo. Okay, so in Zara, the men's section. Oh my god. I think I might get these. Not gonna lie, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I have to try these on. Don't mom, these are cute. So as we can tell by now, I'm attracted to stuff with a lot of color. It usually catches my attention really fast and leads to this, me wanting to buy it. Oh, they don't have my size. So I'm looking in the men's section because I'm upstairs, which means that's what I had to walk in through. But I'm looking for those shorts in the last store in here. This is cute. This is also really cute. These are beautiful. No. Come on. Why not? Let's see if they have my size in these. Okay, so these are jean cargo shorts. They are, I got a small medium to try on. They have a drawstring at the bottom, which we love. And they also have it at the top. These are men's, but they're still really cute. They also have this khaki color, but it doesn't give me a George vibe, so. We are now in the women's department, which is over the packed, of course. This is really freaking cute. Um, honestly, just off a rip, this would be an outfit to me with some green shoes because green is the more noticeable color in the shirt. I'm gonna grab this. I literally am recording this whole video on 0.5. This would be cute if it had pockets. These are really freaking cute because it has an open pocket. Okay, these are the pants. This is a small medium and they're cute. They're just, the strings are like a lot. I think if I didn't have the strings, I might've gotten them. But there's just so many strings going uh, everywhere right now. These are also a no for me. I'm just not tall enough. Um, if I was a guy, I would definitely get these and wear a either orange or white shirt with them. And you can do Air Forces because that's like the typical outfit. But if I was a guy, I would definitely buy these. Okay, not to record these people, but look at the sushi bar in the Galleria. 
They literally have like sushi to pick up. That's so cute. Honestly, I take the samples. My bag is full of samples right now. I hooked this on my purse because my hands just got tired of holding it. But the key to not getting them to stop you is walk past them and reach your hand out for the sample and just be like, no, I'm okay. Like you have to act like you're in a rush and they literally won't bother you. <laughs> but you do still have to take the sample, so. Okay, it's 1.22 and I'm ready to go. Two o'clock is my max limit. Hi, thank you. Oh, they get worse and worse every time I smell these things, oh my God. Okay, slay Barbie. This is really cute, and I would wear this with some baggy jorts and some Birkenstocks with high white socks. And someone recognized me from TikTok. They said, let's go see. Yes, yes, it's me. Shh, don't tell nobody. Forever 21 also is not giving me vacay at the moment. Oh, hey, gang. We didn't find anything, okay? In shorts. Focus, cozy, focus. I hate this parking garage. When I first got my car, this was the first place I ever scratched Phoebe, my car. <sighs> We're going to Dillard's because my mom wanted a pair of shoes out of Nordstrom that they didn't have her size in. So Dillard's is outside the mall. It's like the only store outside the mall. So we're driving there. Yesterday, I got a vegan burger and I think I want another one. So I went to the restaurant yesterday by myself. I waited in line for about 20 minutes. I had I wore jeans yesterday, so I was automatically hot. It was about 100 degrees in Houston. This man walks up to me and he's like, you're pretty, I wanna pay for your meal. And I didn't stop him, so. I sat there and ordered, then he ordered his food with mine and he paid for my meal or whatever, right? And just as we were waiting on the food, we were talking, he was really sweet. Uh, I think he was from like Detroit or something. But yeah, he was really cool. And he was like, yeah, actually, uh, decided to come speak to you because your outfit's pretty live like you know and i'm like this is why you have to dress up when you go places not all the time but it's like yeah your outfit had caught my attention like you look really fly and i'm like this this is just a simple look this isn't the real deal to make my bill look so now 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 we have to go to the alerts right and then we have to go get my burger and then we have to go home oh wait this is a bad idea I'm gonna have to eat in the car. I can do it, but I just didn't want to. Okay, 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 sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm all over the place. Bailey has insurance, right? And his plan kind of covers like dental and, you know, heartworm shots and all of that. So yearly, he has to go get all of that checked. So he went in for his checkup on his ear and they were like, we actually can do his annual thing right now. And I was like, okay, fine. They just take up too much space. You didn't tell me I was that close to that car. I think a dually truck literally takes up line to line in a parking spot. So when the next person, this small compact car, comes parking next to them, there's no room. That's so selfish. Oh my gosh. And I know a friend personally who does that. He would always park either really bad in this big, gigantic black truck or something like that. And I'm like, why would you do that? Like, that is just evil. Like, that would be that would be something to ruin my day <laughs> honestly but um let's hurry up and go in here so we can head out I'm, I'm tired of being outside i'm being on like social and stuff but uh i don't like i don't i'm tired <sighs> okay my bags are like i don't know why hasn't anyone ever done this before it's pretty smart in my opinion now, I'm not going to lie, the bags do hang off a little, which is annoying, but it's better than holding them, you know? I'm just going to put those on the floor, put this back, and we're going to head in there. See if my mom can find her shoe that she's just craving right now. I think my wallet's in there. Okay, let's go. Love you best thing to see when you walk in because now I just have the urge to buy jewelry. I don't see silver though. Oh my gosh, look, this is where I got my charm bracelet from that everyone asked about. 
This is James Avery. Let's see if they have any cute charms. I'm distracted. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, look. Yes, thank you so much. Oh my god, this is like shoe heaven. These are really cute just because my favorite color is green and they do a little tie around moment. So much to do, not enough time in the day. I just want to like lay in bed and watch Avatar and edit these videos. Avatar is finally on Disney Plus and I've been watching it bits and pieces. I'm one of those people who have to do something or watch something whatever I'm doing. Slightly horrible angle but traffic, traffic, it's traffic. Anyways, we're here. There's not anywhere to park, to my knowledge at the moment. So hopefully the line is along, it's literally 2 p.m. Who goes and gets burgers at 2 p.m. other than me, you know? No one else should be here. <sighs> Just when I thought I was thinking ahead, I was thinking behind because everybody was thinking ahead too, I guess. Um, There's still an outside line. <laughs> cool. Please get out the way. I'm trying not to have road rage and scream right now. If you can't tell by my face, but like, please move. Black Tahoe just took up two parking spots. That car right there. That literally was the pet peeve I was just talking about. And the fact that it just happened to me means I have to show you. So let me show you. You can't even see it for real, but they just parked so bad. Here is the burger that I just waited an hour in line for. This is what it looks like. This is the vegan one, of course. Came with a special sauce and pickles are on the burger. It's currently 3.15 and I'm going to rush to Bailey now. I literally have to tell you what I experienced going on a water diet. Not a water diet. I don't know if that's the right word, but I tried to drink nothing but water. So basically June started last week, right? And I was telling Mexico, I was like, girl, we need to drink water and nothing but water this whole month of June. So I specifically said water and liquor, and I know it doesn't balance out, but we have graduation parties to go to, so it only makes sense for us to do water and liquor. So uh, we were doing nothing but water and like our meals and stuff. And after the third day, just shit just got real weird for us. Like I was, I texted her and I was like, are your lips dry all the time? Or is it just me? She's like, no, they're dry all the time. And then the 4th of June, I was like, do you have a lot of energy or is it just me? And she's like, no, I have a lot of energy. And then basically like, I don't know, we couldn't do the all water diet, but we did try. I lasted till like day seven. And then yesterday when I got this burger, I got a fruit punch high seat and I got a fruit punch I see today, but I really did try to do the water diet. What was hurting me the most is that I couldn't drink orange juice because you know how much I love orange juice. No, the self-discipline with picking up a water bottle for breakfast with your meals or anything like that, like it's, it's a discipline for real. And I salute anyone doing a water challenge or anyone that does that. I can't describe this. Taste to you. That's not bad though. It's better as a dipping sauce and not on the actual thing though. Cheers to our burger. Don't be watching me eat though, for real. Today I was in line for a really long time. I felt like I almost passed out. I find it insane how you really just throw my days with me. Like what? Imagine being like, oh, I spent the day with Kelsey. Like, oh, what? That's what it feels like doing these videos. Oh my gosh. It just is like, whoosh. Hi, my name is Kelsey Queen, and we're back with The Kelsey Show. Do you hear that panting in the back? It's not me. Guess who it is? Bailey, come here. He's a little shy, sorry. Bailey's here with us. He is healthier than ever. He's being nosy. Um, I'm picking up bestie right now to take her to work she's supposed to go on at six but she's going in at five instead so it's 4 44 right now i thought i was gonna be here at 4 44 on a dot my freaking shoes 
that I have been waiting a week for are here. They're at my doorstep and I cannot wait to try them on for you, bro. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna go home and we're going to try on my shoes, of course. I'm gonna go ship out that Depop package I was talking about earlier. I ended up having another one while I was waiting in line for that burger. So I'm gonna do those two and then we are going to start packing. Uh, Sorry for the panting if it bothers you. It bothers me sometimes. Um, I just learned how to cancel it out. So sorry if it is bothering you. But I really, 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 really want to go check my P.O. box, but I don't think I'm going to have time to do that. My P.O. box is so far from my actual house. I choose quality over quantity because the post office by me is just trash. Uh, so it's pretty far. I, I literally already showed you what the shoes look like. I'll show you again just for good luck. So this lady on my Instagram, she just like, I don't know why I haven't been scrolling through my actual Instagram. I've actually been scrolling through my explore page feed. It's just been so like, look at this. This is like the best Instagram explore page feed you've ever seen. We have some like cool jewelry. We have some fly outfits. We have like cute little couples getting married. Like this is the most versatile fly hair. You can't tell me I don't have the best explorer page. Anyway, so. Oh, we got cooking videos, bro. Be so for real right now. And her shoes were to die for. Because as you know, I love like goofy shoes. Like my, my shark house slippers are one of my favorites. They just, they're like fabric. So they get dirty really fast. Um, This is where I got my shoe inspo from. I can't wait to wear them. I can sit in the car and talk forever. And you know this. Bailey's probably tired of me talking. And you're probably tired of him panting. So I'm going to go. I'll talk to you a little later. I'm going to respond to a couple emails now while I'm sitting here waiting on Mexico. I've not been here all day. I'm going to fix the camera because you're slightly crooked. Oh, you're actually falling. Okay. Uh, maybe I should fix that on BRB. Hey, I'm finally home. It is 525. I got packages. I got a couple packages. I have to do a TikTok for this Amazon company. And they literally just sent me free workout clothes. I only accepted it because I just really wanted uh, more Pilates clothes, but these are like the shorts that make your butt look big. I'm not a fan of these, but they sent me these. So. Oh, I feel like Christmas. Ah! Oh my gosh, these shoes are so cute. <gasps> Tell me these aren't cute. These are them. They look so funny looking and cute. And then we got blue as well. We have a, a promo TikTok I have to do. And someone, this company, I'm not sure how to say the name, but they sent me three bags. You see it, don't play. Here's a Lauryn Hill one. And then there's two scissor ones. This is a new album. And then this is Control, and it's kind of like a tote bag. Okay, I just finished printing out the shipping labels. We are about to go run and ship those off. It is like about to be six o'clock in 10 minutes. So let's go. This is my other phone I'm recording on, the one I used to record on. Hair is not herring. I just want to get in my bonnet, honestly. Uh, let's hurry up and go do this. Love you. Hi, I didn't forget about you, but I took my bestie to work. I came here, I had made something to eat, and then, this is a blur. <laughs> um, I started packing, and I am bringing Bailey with me this time. I don't know, I don't know how he's gonna be out there, but we are headed out. This is possibly the end of this vloggy vlog. Thank you for going shopping with me today, and I hope that you found something you liked out of the stuff that I picked um and learned a thing or two about shopping i'm going to be here hearing bailey pant for the next four hours let me show you what he looks like because he's like all comfy this is currently bailey in his setup and then of course me yeah have fun today anyways love you